<laughs> Where's Corey now? So we've come over to Craig Heller's lab. Today we're going to be experiencing the physiologic effect of cold on the body. And so Corey has volunteered to try and drop his body temperature down so we can see what happens in that process. We'll have three different measures. Heart rate will show his response to shivering. His heart rate should go up. Um, we have his core temperature measured by the esophageal temperature, and then we'll have the skin temperature measured by this probe on his hand. Putting on layers, he's taking off layers. Go, Corey. 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 Yes. All right. I was going to say that it actually didn't feel very cold in here, but I realize that's ridiculous since I'm not in my ski jacket. <laughs> it's pretty cold in here. There it is. Skin probes. My palo erector muscles are hard at work. It's a good thing I have such a thick mat of chest hair. Yeah, that'll keep you warm. This is really working. That blood is pulled out of my fingers and my toes. My hands, I'm just starting to shiver a little bit. A couple minutes ago, I was feeling pretty nervous, not really knowing quite what to expect what this is going to feel like. I don't particularly manage cold well. Has there been any change in my core temperature? The facts are going up because you're shivering. It's wild. You're uh, 36 7 now, so it's so crazy, you know. Isn't that partially also because he's vasoconstricting the periphery, so he's sending more of the blood yeah. to the core? Amazing compensatory mechanisms. <laughs> ah, fun in the cold room. No, you can't really tell, but I, I can feel a little bit of a difference. The temperature is still going out. Put up! What's the matter with you? You try and mess with this body. What kind of experiment is this? The system. Oh, look, he just dropped. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. This? Well, first his heart rate will go up, and then his heart rate will go down. In fact, we're not recording that, are we? Okay, um, so it was in the 80s to start and it's up to 99 now for his heart. So he's trying to compensate by increasing his metabolic rate. And then we'll eventually get to um, delirium and unconsciousness and then death. Okay, maybe not that far. <laughs> so what's going to happen here is we're going to accelerate this process since we all have things to do. So we're going to put him in the, in the water bath because water conducts heat away from the body 20 times faster than uh, air, and so we'll put him in there and it'll get cold faster. Oh. oh man. Now I see some goosebumps. <laughs> okay. Back down a little bit. Heart rate's up to 105. Turning up the uh, current there do? is a little bit brutal. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, what? Oh, Going down farther. Oh, nice little tub. Current's the worst. Yeah, the wind chill. Shaking, goosebumps. You're turning a little pale. Your lips aren't blue yet. That's good. How how are you? Uh, I'm starting to feel pretty cold. Yeah. But uh, uh, I know my body can last quite a ways longer. We're not shivering violently yet. Not even close. But he doesn't have much fat, yeah. so he's uh, very lean, and so there's not a big insulating layer there. So he's been in there for about a half an hour now, so he's not able to compensate quite as much anymore. He's starting to shiver a little bit more. Um, and we're not going to keep him in too much longer. Can we catch this ball? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw it up yourself and catch it. Like just like you did with your juggle. Like, can you throw it straight up? That's pretty good. There's really not much here. fine motor going on here. So we're trying to see if he still has some manual, or he's losing his manual dexterity. So why don't you try and tie my shoe, Corey? Now imagine you're out in the cold trying to build a shelter. You have to tie that knot. Okay, so we're going to cut your misery and get you out of the tank. Right here? Yeah. But I don't feel anything in your arms. And then you just hit the one on the left or this one? That's the incline. Go about three. Oh, wow. Now he's got some shaking going on. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's hard that it just has... <laughs> Your legs don't fit. Your legs don't fit. Let's see if doing it automatically. Oh my gosh. It's <sighs> something that he'd normally do with just his type 1 fibers. So he's doing gross movement patterns and he feels very uncoordinated. Those nerves are just not signaling down those legs very well. The focus I can make my time about stop. Stop shaking? Not entirely. <laughs> it's like a... I work really hard to, to override it. I let it go. Comes right back. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. 35 degree. 34. Yeah, so Corey's really hurting now. I think we've tortured him enough, so we're going to take him out soon. Let's see if he can catch. Can you throw it from one hand to the other yourself? Yeah. Try to do some of the tricks you did earlier. Forget <laughs> 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 Let's do a little one more shoe tie and then we're gonna get you warmed up. Yeah, we're done. Let's get it warmed up. Temperature down to 34.5. Hold up sure. in the background. There's no heat in the shoe, so you can't see that your hands are so cold. <laughs> your hands are just... <laughs> 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 okay, let's get you out of here.